Hello, Dr. Greg again, and uh, I want to uh, sort of extend or uh, um, increase my uh, or increase your understanding of the uh, parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system. Now, what I want to do or what I want everyone to understand is how it's all linked, right? The, the sitting, the uh, fear piece, the PMRF, the brainstem, the amygdala, all that has an impact on your autonomic nervous system, which has both a sympathetic and a parasympathetic. Um, and now the parasympathetic nervous system is all about body repair, body defense, that type of stuff. The sympathetic is all about getting you out of a bad situation. So all the blood, all its energies to your hands, your legs, your feet, whatever, your muscles, all the blood and everything, energy goes there. That's what the sympathetic nervous system is supposed to do where the parasympathetic is supposed to heal things, repair stuff, digest food, relax you, make you be able to think better, all that kind of stuff. So what we want to do in our society today is that the sympathetic nervous system is always turned on. Uh, and it's turned on in various ways. Sitting will turn it on because you're shutting off the parasympathetic. Uh, looking at violent films will turn it on because your brain has no idea that that film is real or not. Um, looking, playing games that are violent as well. You have no idea, your brain has no idea that's not real. Um, uh, stressful situations. Look, looking at the news and, 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 and seeing fearful things all the time and seeing nothing good. Um, all that adversely affects your, uh, your amygdala, your brainstem, makes the sympathetic nervous system excited and it suppresses the parasympathetic nervous system, which makes you susceptible to all kinds of things, everything from heart disease to uh, high blood pressure to infections. So what we wanna do is we wanna try and counteract that. And I've talked some ways about doing that while you're sitting, some ways of doing that just helping with fear, uh, and I wanted to review some of those ways of doing it. And it's all very simple things that we, we, we know about already, but the key with this is to be consistent with them and also to do them frequently, not just one time a day. So one of them is to be out in nature, just being out in nature without any excitement, just looking at the trees, looking at the green uh, is very helpful. And you don't have to do this for hours at a time. You could do it as a break, um, five, 10 minutes, step out the door, whatever, look out the window, what have you, uh, just looking at nature. The other thing is to uh, practice deep breathing, and this is something you can do easily. Deep breathing actually stimulates the diaphragm, which is a part of the brainstem. The, the, the parasympathetic part will actually stimulate um, the, uh, the brainstem in a positive way. And deep breathing is just breathing in deep and slowly out. Now, that is controlled breathing. When you're the sympathetic nervous system is fired up, you realize that you're breathing shallow. Deep breathing will calm things down. So breathing deep into your diaphragm or belly breathing, have the belly pop out when you breathe in deep and let it pop back in as you exhale and do it very slowly. That can actually calm things down pretty significantly. Um, another interesting thing, and I'm gonna have more, this video is gonna go on, uh, will go on too long if I cover them all. But the other thing I want you to, that's very interesting, and um, make sure your hands are clean, uh, but if you touch your lips, believe it or not, touching your lips stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system. Isn't that weird? It's weird because, well, it's not weird, but the, the neurology behind it is very uh, ordinary in that nerves that go to your lips are parasympathetic. Um, and maybe kissing would actually be really good um, so kiss your spouse often uh, and will actually stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's basically uh, just three things. Look at nature, deep breathing, and touching your lips or kissing your, your mate uh, often will actually help the parasympathetic nervous system get excited, which will actually help you calm down, which will actually help your mucous membranes are help become healthier, your heart is healthier, digestion is better, sleep is better, all that kind of stuff. Those are three simple things. Next video, I'm gonna give you three more things. There's, there's a few, there's about nine, 10 things that you can do to help your parasympathetic nervous system just 
become stronger and more active, which will actually help you live a better life. This is Dr. Greg, changing the way we look at health.